we gotta stay safe and friends and family do too. Let's build a plan and a kit we can use and share the lessons we learn with everyone in our crew. Hey everyone! With Pedro! Natural tuxedo, I'm prepared for any occasion. Come on and prepare with Pedro. Hey, Gail! Psst, Gail! Can I have some fish before we start? We're what? We're on already? Oh, hi! I'm Pedro. I love to learn how to prepare for emergencies. Sometimes when an emergency happens, the American Red Cross opens a shelter so people can stay somewhere that's safe. Let's learn more. Come along with me. <laughs> this is Pedro the Penguin. He lives by himself in a neighborhood where there was a big emergency. And like everyone else in the area, he had to leave his home and go somewhere safe. He went to an emergency shelter the Red Cross opened because he knew it was a safe place. Hi there, I'm May. What's your name? Uh, hi, May. I'm Pedro. Nice to meet you, Pedro. Are you here by yourself? Yes, I live alone. But there was an emergency in my neighborhood, so I came here. Well, that was a really smart move, Pedro. All of the volunteers here at the Red Cross Shelter will help to make sure you're safe and taken care of. What's a volunteer? Ooh, is it a type of fish? Mm -hmm. No, Pedro. A volunteer is a person, like me, who gives their time to do something positive for the community. Would you like something to eat? We have a snack table right here. Yum! Thanks, May. Well, how about I show you around a bit? It's not super, so, fish ticated but I think you'll like it. <laughs> I see what you did there, May. May gave Pedro a tour of the shelter, showing him where the bathrooms were, where to find water, where the nurse is located, and where he would sleep. Whoa, are all shelters like this one, May? Every shelter is different, but they all have people in them who care about making you feel safe. No matter who you are or where you are from, everyone is welcome at a Red Cross shelter. This is where you'll sleep tonight, Pedro. We'll make sure you have everything you need. A toothbrush, blankets, and a special friend. <gasps> May, thank you! Oh, oh, she's so snuggly! I think I'll name her, uh, Captain McSnugglesworth. Yes, Captain McSnugglesworth, and I shall snuggle her. Soon, it was dinner time. Pedro got in line to get food. Please have anchovies. After he saw there were no anchovies, he realized he wasn't sure who he'd sit with while he was eating. This is just like my school cafeteria. You just go down the line and say yes to whatever you want to eat. They even have one super cool gloves and hairnets for safety, like my lunch lady, Doreen. Looking sharp, Ronnie. Whoa, you rocked that hairnet. You know, I do look sharp. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Penguin. I'm Sophia. What's your name? Oh, I'm Pedro. Nice to meet you, Sophia. Nice to meet you too, Pedro. Want to sit with me and my big brother, Gabe? Our parents are meeting with people over on the other side of the shelter, so we have lots of room at our table. Sure. In the meantime, tell me a little more about this lunch lady, Doreen. She sounds like a hoot. Gabe, this is my new friend, Pedro. He's going to sit with us for dinner. Gabe, pleasure. Hi, Pedro. Come join us. Mom and Dad will be back in a little bit. Who are your parents meeting with? They're meeting with people who can help us get some of the things we'll need when we go back home. Our dad says they're also working hard to get more of the medicine I forgot. Wow! The folks at the American Red Cross can do all that? Talk about your go-getters. Yeah. Oh, Dad gave me a deck of cards. Would you like to play with us, Pedro? Sure. So, what are we playing, Gabe? Maybe a little go fish? I'm practically undefeated. Pedro had a lot of fun making new friends, despite the fact that Sophia won every round of go fish. Afterwards, as Pedro got into bed, he felt a little weird sleeping near strangers in a new place. Hi, Pedro. How you doing, buddy? I'm okay. But, um, Captain McSnugglesworth, she seems a little scared. You know how she can be. Hmm. 
I understand, Pedro. It's okay to feel a little scared. Do you know what I do when I feel that way to help me feel better? I take big, slow breaths to calm down. Try it with me. You too, Captain McSnugglesworth. Breathe in slowly through your nose, like me. Then, breathe out slowly through your mouth. Great job. Let's do that again. Breathe in slowly through your nose. Breathe out slowly through your mouth. After just five or six breaths, I feel better and start to relax. And you can do this anytime you feel sad, worried, or scared. Think of it as your own special superpower. Pedro liked that he had a new superpower and that his new friend and her family were right there next to him. Holding on tight to Captain Mick Snugglesworth, he felt relieved and safe. Pedro fell fast asleep. A few days later, after breakfast, Pedro and his new friend sat together and colored. That is a really good drawing, Gabe. Such a well-balanced composition. Are you classically trained? Um, no, but thanks. Good news, Pedro. It looks like it is now safe for you to go back to your home. Nice! Thanks, Valerie. Well, Captain McSnugs, time to hit the road. We'll talk about house rules back at home. Fair warning, hands off the thermostat. I like it cold! Pedro was excited to head back home, but that meant that it was time to say goodbye to all the people who helped him. And he was hopeful everyone else in the shelter would hear the same good news soon. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm glad I made some new friends. Even if Sophia beat me at my own game. <laughs> you card shark. <laughs> I forgive you. Chill out with Pedro. I'm really happy I was able to stay at a Red Cross shelter. They gave me food, a toothbrush, and a safe place to sleep. And those volunteers? I mean, come on. They're just good people. Remember that it's okay to feel worried or scared when you're in a new place. But you have a superpower that can help you calm down. If you feel yourself breathing quickly and feeling nervous, remember to breathe in slowly through your nose, like me. Then breathe out slowly through your mouth or beak, depending. You can do this again and again until you feel calmer. I knew I could count on you. Catch you later. To learn more, visit redcross.org.